Hello, I am Nathaniel Hatchy. In this three-part series, we'll be making a grid-based level editor for our in Unity. It'll allow you to place tiles, create a build area, and place props. You will learn some of the things you can do by making a custom editor window. In a new Unity project, I create a level builder folder. In this folder, I create three more folders, a prop scripts and tiles folder. In this scripts folder, I also create four scripts, a builder, node, prop, and tile scripts. And then I add a editor folder where I added an editor script called level builder. In this first video, we will mostly be looking at making the build area node tile and prop scripts since the level builder depends upon these scripts. But we will also start the level builder script by making you able to open the editor window inside of Unity. In our build area, we will need five variables. One, a float for the size of the tiles. One, a vector two uh, for the size of the build area. And three, bulls for the different gizmos. Then we will create two methods of build nodes and a on draw gizmos method. In our build nodes method, we do two four loops with one nested in the other. With this basically way for making our grid. Continuing in our build nodes method, we'll create a vector three where we use the transform of the game object of our build area for all three of the coordinates. For the x, we do x times the size of the tile plus the, and then add, we add it to the position. And then same for the z, but with the z from the z loop. And basically the x and the z basically represents like different rows and columns in the grid with the tile size determining the space between each of the columns and rows center points. And then we use the normal position so that the grid spawn dot spawning at the start position of the build area. In our on draw gizmos method, we return if we don't have the show build area gizmo on as true. And then, like the above, we use two for each loops with one nested in the other to for the like row and columns again which we then draw a outline for each tile by first getting the position for the tile and then drawing the tiles square. In the node script, you will need to make sure that the node class has a selection base. Now this marks the script's game object as a selection base object for scene view picking, which basically makes it that uh, for any child game objects, this will get selected for first. And then if you keep clicking on them, basically you'll be eventually able to select them. You will also need to create a build area variable and to create a on draw gizmos method. Now this on draw gizmos method to make sure that it runs if the build area equals null, you return in this case. 
and then you make the color have all zeros which makes it invisible and technically have like no color and then you set the draw the cube using the cube center position which is the transform is the nodes position and then also set the draw cubes size with the x being the build area dot tile size times 0.75 y being zero and the build z being build area dot tile size times 0.75 now this on draw gizmos the only actual purpose is so that the node game object will be pickable since the node game object is always empty and empty game objects on it their own are not pickable and you require them to be pickable in order for you to be able to select them by clicking in an area in the scene view so to get around that and make it pickable i do this in the tiles script we have a probability enum which is determines if the tile is probable which is if you're able to have a prop on top of this tile then for the float top we have it so that we take in to determine the top of the tile so that can tell our level builder where it needs to how it's supposed to build the tiles onto the us node and then we have a build area variable also and again we have an on draw gizmo which only if there is a build area script and if the build area script has the show tile top gizmos method true with this we get the position with this this script's game objects position minus our uh, vector three with the y top and the other kind of says zero then we draw a sphere which is a stop pose of the tile with the small radius set the color to red where we draw lines to help visualize our top in the prop class we have a float that rep called bottom that represents the bottom of the prop we also have a variable for the build area then we have a on draw gizmos where draw the stuff if we have a build area and the build area has show prop bottom gizmos true and with that we would set a vector 3 for our posi stop position as our props transform dot position minus a vector 3 with 0x bottom as y and 0z then we draw a sphere at the start pose change the color red and draw lines that in different directions so that we have a visualization of where the bottom is and then for the final part of the video in the level builder script we'll show the window the first thing we do is add a using unity error at the top of the script to make sure we are able to use unity editor stuff make the level build class inherit from editor window you can then make a static class called show window which we add to the menu item then in the show windows method we get a window by the get window method which we pass in the t window type by doing type of level builder and we cast it as level builder and we store it in a reference and then we make the window show
Now if we click win level builder at the top here and open build, we'll see this editor window. And with that, this concludes first episode of building a grid-based level builder in Unity.